High up in the atmosphere, where friction with the ground fades, wind starts behaving differently. It no longer just flows from high to low pressure. It curves, balances, and dances with invisible forces. This is the domain of the geostrophic wind. So, what is geostrophic wind? Simply put, geostrophic wind is the wind that results when the Coriolis force perfectly balances the pressure gradient force. This happens at higher altitudes, typically above one kilometer, where surface friction is minimal. Let's break it down. Imagine a region of low pressure. Air naturally wants to flow toward it driven by the pressure gradient force, the force that pushes air from high to low pressure. But Earth is rotating, and that rotation introduces the Coriolis effect, which deflects moving air to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. When these two forces balance, pressure pulling one way, Coriolis deflecting the other, air doesn't flow straight into the low pressure center. Instead, it flows parallel to the isobars, or lines of equal pressure. That's geostrophic wind. This wind is key to weather forecasting. It explains the large-scale wind patterns in the upper atmosphere, like jet streams, and helps meteorologists predict storm movements. However, geostrophic wind is an idealization. It doesn't fully account for surface friction, or turbulent flows but it's a solid approximation at altitude. Using satellite data and weather balloons, scientists can model and track geostrophic flow to understand large-scale weather dynamics from cyclones to heat waves. So the next time you look up at those swirling satellite clouds, remember, a cosmic tug of war between pressure and planet rotation is shaping that motion. What fascinates you most about geostrophic wind? Leave your thoughts in the comments and be sure to subscribe for more weather-powered science.